Come on, go, go, go. Hurry up, guys, you don't have all day. Hello, ladies and germs. As you can see now, we're going to have a hell of a ride. Let's go. I think that the bravest dude in the whole expedition team is this OAS owner. Aren't you afraid to ride with the truck team? Not at all. Really? Does the Ural have differential locks? There is no interwheel differential lock. Really? It has only interaxle locking differential. You may recognize this big one. It's foreign. And it has a big 5 liters engine. This one has both interaxial locking differential and a couple of automatic interwheel differential locks. A ZEO. Are people reducing tire pressure? Yeah. Does the truck have interwheel differential locks? No. So there is only interaxial locking differential. And what engine you've got? A regular 130 model. A grand advantage of these vehicles is that you don't need to get out of your truck to reduce tire pressure. Or pump them up. It is automatic. I guess there are differential locks, aren't they? Yeah, everywhere. Oh, really? And you've got a Mars engine, right? Yeah. The engine from a military tractor. I think it's the most unique vehicle of the street. Let's talk about the situation shortly. It has been raining hard for three days. And there is truck track. That's awesome, it suits our cause. Soon you will see how the expedition is going to deal with the first challenge. That is going to be cool. US. Is afraid of nothing. Except for going on the road left by heavy trucks. And that's why he's going first. This car is the lightest. US will be going well. If you don't make some additional challenges for it. Now it's turn for the second lightest participant of the team. This one is Gaz On or ZMZ53. It goes more straightly, comparing to yours. The next one is a crazy custom truck. And we are going on it today. Now it's Zeal's turn. There is nice lighting on the roof. And we can easily find that this vehicle is perfect for off-road. Well, this bad road is a trifle for these vehicles, to be honest. These trucks go through the roads where all Nevers and Yuas get stuck. Lecha, did you make the constant all-wheel drive? Not really, it has two rear axles of permanent drive and part-time front axle. So it's four-wheel drive of permanent and some part-time. Is that the most unreliable one? <laughs> has no winch. I'm scared already. I don't think it is gonna stuck somewhere. Place your bets, how much petrol he's gonna spend today, for what sum? <laughs> Let's see, 100 liters for 100 kilometers. That would be 200 liters, I think, like a military vehicle. He could save enough money to buy a very old car for the trip, couldn't he? Yeah, you're right. First breakage. What happened? See me. What is wrong with it? There's a deep rod, for you at least. It was scratching the bottom. Let's see how the off-road monster is gonna deal with it. Well, the smallest truck of the team is going. Let's see how it is gonna cope with this place. A deep rod. It's dirty and wet. Clay. It goes. No problem. Oh. 
still has some troubles, but it is going anyway. It's time for Ural, the monster. Slowly but surely. That's the motto of it. I am drenched with water, but I have insulated it all. Something went wrong. Okay, we will see it later. We're getting closer to the swamp. It is going to be hot soon. <laughs> there go the viewers, fans, Sveta is here too. It's going to be a challenge for you, Az. It mustn't go on the rut, because it's gonna stuck in it. It fell. And stuck. It looks like in a commercial. It is still going. And it's not the military modification. Well. This rut is too deep for it. Yuaz is a beast, though that is too much. I call this version the Super Shorty. It is on its bottom already. Wow, it's breaking through. There is no hard differential lock. That would help a lot, by the way, in case you have to pass a deep rod. I mean, the differentials. It's rushing forward. Oh my. My goodness. Yeah. Next, Gazel, the same road. Let's see. Yuaz has made the rat more shell. Well, Gazon is crashing the rat as well. Good. Next is the custom beast. It is like a salad made of the best parts. Such a wave from it. It has flown over the road. It's still time. That's not a problem for this monster. At all. A routine. It has the best ground clearance of all other vehicles today. I guess that Euro is the most furious truck. What do you think, guys? Is there any other truck can beat him? It's like a tank. Euro has a clean axle. We have finally reached the place. We need it for hot action. Waiting for orders. There he goes. Euro hasn't gone far. He's still trying. That's a real swamp. The mire. Get the navigator out. Let him out. <laughs> there goes the 53rd. They're pulling out yours. It has a rare winch, right? Yeah.
I think no one will pass the stretch of road on his own, judging by what's happening. Other differential locks on yours? No. I think Euro will not pass here, because if Zilla's gonna stuck here, it will dig the swamp too badly. No will, stop the engine, you're digging the ground, use your winch. Now go slowly, come on, come on, go, go, go. Wow, it is going. Drive right, on the right. Now relocate the winch, attach it to the next tree. And you're gonna reach me then. The winching process of you as continuous. Go, go, go. There it goes, one side goes, on the ground. That's all up to him now. It is swimming well. I mean it, it is going well. Stop, stop. Now it's all up to this gazon. Can it pass through the swamp? Or swim? It has the locks and it is going down already. That's very bad, because the rut is becoming deeper, and the wheels will not reach the ground. Well, I think this stretch of road is going to be harder for big wiggles, because this truck is about 4 tons. That's not heavier than a regular car. That's almost a Tundra's weight. That's it. It is winching time. Not let it get stuck. I was told its weight is two and a half tons. The winching is going on. Slowly, calmly. We don't have to press on, because the truck will dig itself deeper in the rut. He is swimming on his own, but I think this will not be for long. This truck has enough power actually, it goes nice and easy, no problem. Because it has a nice engine, the original one wouldn't work so nice. The original motors are really bad. Loha, why doesn't it go? We can't reach it. What went wrong? That's gonna be worse for heavy trucks, isn't it? Actually, they will pass it with no hustle. We're just cleaning the road for them. It is not gonna sink. Stop, stop, hey! Let's go on the winch. Hey, Loha, let's winch. Judging by the roaring, the monster is coming. Crazy off-road truck. Swimming. If only it passed a few inches more. Go back. Just a little more power and this one would pass easily. Now he has to change the gear.
going like a tank. Unstoppable. Nice driving. Pedal to the metal and go. Power will let him do it. And now it's Zeal's time. That is exciting. How powerful is its engine? 300 horsepower. How much? I don't know actually. It is powerful as hell, isn't it? Sure. It is breaking through. Its door has opened. All of a sudden. Now we are talking. The heaviest and the most exciting truck is on the track. The Euro. It goes slowly. Others have left him a better rut already, and that makes it easier. Just think about the depth of this rut, Euro is sinking in it. There it goes. Euro doesn't worry about bad roads. Bad roads worry about Euro. Well, there's another hot piece of route. And that's hard for those who stop in that rut. If only it had better clearance. The wickle sits on the ground. Go, go, go! That is muddy mess, oh my gosh. Go aside, the rut blocks your axle. You are sitting on your drivetrain. Now back. Stuck. Go. We have finally pushed him through. Maybe it's time for Gazel to... Oh, wait. It seems to be fitting the road. Oh, really? Nice. But the rut is very deep, as you see. And another. Truck is going. I'm not sure how to call it properly. It's in the track. Well, let's see if it can go. Right on the rut. Maybe it can do it. It is getting stuck. City on the ground again. 
and behind goes Zio. Yeah, six wheels drive feels more comfortable here, surely. And the elder brother, the Ural. Ural has no trouble and gasoline has almost passed. Let's call it Gaza. It got stuck. It's the first time we use a winch for this one. How oh, I can call it properly? 106. Okay. We won't climb here with these tires, I can tell you for sure. We have been on such ruts already, that's not really funny. We have to winch half of the way. Well, let's see if Gazon can go further. Let's go. has made it. You all go through the broken rut. doesn't sweat at all, no matter what road it is. Look here! All new Euros have engines like this. Is it new engine? Is it the new one? You think so? No! This one was new in 1982. You deceived me. This engine is Zil 375. It has 180 horsepower, 7 liters. Yeah. A new participant, Gaz 66, or Shishiga. It wanted to keep up, but got stuck a little. It is going to use the rod after Euro and Zeal, and that's going to be hard. They are much bigger and heavier than Shishiga. But wait, it is going itself with no winch yet. As I see, this Gaz 66 is well prepared for adventures. It has chains. Judging by the sound, its engine is kinda original. Well, this one goes really nice. No trouble at all. Though it is much lighter. The road is tough, but it is equipped on a very lavish scale, judging by the sound. And pedal to metal. Let's try to go in Euro. Stop! Trouble! Problem, problem.
Я не форме. Guys, make more faces. That doesn't work. Так, идет. 63rd is going. That's shallow here. You just got here using a cheater pot. There goes her style, Shishiga. Nice drifting man. Zeus drowning. And the passengers are dropping out on the move. <laughs> there goes Ural and Shishiga. They will not change places. They missed a little. It's about 20 meters behind. You are standing ask you a little, but don't worry. He's standing ask you, look at his face. Go, no, wait, wait. Are you tired, darling? Tired? No? Okay. And pass it. Yeah, there we go. That's it. It's gonna stop. Leha, does your jumping help? No. Ha, almost. People on Gazel, jump. You've gone to a dead end.
It is not scared of trees. Zeus going. He has smashed it like a match. There goes Ural, the monster. That is a hellish place. Going well. This stretch of road has an extremely deep rod. Gazon can't go on it. Directly. Use first gear slowly. Over. They're gonna go aside. But it feels like Gazon will fold in the rod. They're having bad time already. It is going aside yet. But its back is falling. He's gonna fall now. Meanwhile, Shashika has some troubles with fuel pump. It's being repaired now. Let's use the winch, but... But where to connect it? Yeah, there's nothing here. They keep dragging it. Drop the winch now. Can it go on its own? Shall we drag it? Yeah. And yours is breaking forward slowly. Actually, it's a hybrid of yours and Niva. Let's see if Gazon can do it. Oh, it's swimming! Come on, go! It is crashing the rod with its drivetrain. How are you doing? We're okay. Yeah. <laughs> there goes the Rostyle 66. Right on the rod. It doesn't matter for this truck, actually. It just goes. Possibly it's gonna give a push to Gazo later. The driver is really calm and kind of bored, maybe. Yeah. 
the heavy guys are coming to our party. I could never imagine that they're gonna say that 66 is lightweight. Strangely, but US goes better than everyone else. So far. It goes first, uses winch, but it goes. We are trying to keep up with it. Fifty-third is using the winch. So deep. US goes just like this after trucks. On the drivetrain. It is breaking the rut. Yeah, that's gonna be easier to go for other vehicles. Gazon is going off, going off the rut. doesn't have so much a suspension stroke, as I can see now. It has not enough of power. Go jump! No, 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 backwards. Now let's rock it. So, there we go. Shishiga is coming. Zil is breaking through. Zil. Not breaking through, but go away at least. Oh my gosh, it's stuck! Oh my goodness. It is sitting down. That's it. <coughs> well, even the monster may get stuck as well. Release the clutch just a little, little bit. That's a transfer box. You can just break it. Stop, stop. Stop, stop, stop. Don't. Don't do it. Let me get this. Now release the clutch slowly. Come on. Go. Winching. Such a long wire. Go, go, go! Well, it is slowly. Goes. Rolling. It weighs 9 tons. This zeal.
I wonder if Shishiga and Euro can pass it. How they go. Shishiga's turn. Does it have interaxial locking differential? Yeah, it has. Almost original. It doesn't go well so far. He's pumping. It's going with echo mode. He's pressing on. It goes at least. Digging with a drive train. We are making a new park right on place. Out of trash. The 66 is being repaired, handcraft. It doesn't go well. It's a lie, we almost done it. We've got the second part already. Is it the reverse one? <laughs> yeah, and it's better than in the shop. And original details. That's handcraft production. There is nothing more permanent than temporary. Yeah, make it, and when I come home... The only thing left is to weld it. It needs some polishing. And that's going to be like brand new. It's gonna drop out. Not really, it's gonna stuck. Yeah, I mean it. I was trying to tell you that. And there are also some additives in the fuel, aren't they? Yeah, to make it go better. Additives used to be natural. And now we need what? To try it. This one looks cool, but needs more work. We should have clenched it. Does it spill? Not yet. Let's pump some fuel, we shall see that. It pops out from a spring. Yeah, let's fasten it. Pump it a little. Another swimming pool. We were going well, but now we've got a trouble. All of a sudden, we've got trucks getting stuck. <laughs> 